from India, came to U.S. almost 16 years ago. Um, I came to U.S., uh, got married to my uh, husband, of course, and that's how I landed up in U.S. So it, it's been 16 years over here now. That is wonderful. So tell me, what do you know about the Bible and um, God's Word? Excellent question. Zero. <laughs> I know nothing about it. Literally okay. nothing. That is awesome. I only know there is Jesus Christ in Bible. That's about it. Okay, that is wonderful to know because you are actually an answer to our prayer because when Dean was writing this book, we were praying that we would find somebody that really knew nothing about the book mm -hmm. um, so that they could experience it from just a purely entertainment value. Uh, those of us who are very familiar with God's Word and the stories that are in there, I think we could tend to get real nitpicky because we're going to watch for any scripture mistakes and stuff like that. So sometimes it, it's harder for us to just enjoy and being entertained by God's Word because we want to make sure it's actually um, perfect and accurate. Yeah. So you are definitely an answer to our prayer and we are excited to have you and hear what you thought and felt as you were reading this story. So before we begin with all of that, tell me, what do you know about David and Goliath? Literally nothing until Dean started talking about it during our workout sessions and he was talking about his book a lot. And that's when I asked him, like, how would somebody like the book if the person has literally no background on who those characters are? Because that was me. I had no clue. So, that is wonderful. Yep. And then, um, well, I just, I would love for those who are listening and watching to hear your story about what your answer was to Dean when he asked you about that. Do you remember what your answer was? Well, he, when he asked me about like, what do you know about David or Goliath? And I said, I remember the name Goliath that I've heard about it, maybe back in school or something until the next day. Because when, the same day when I came back home and asked my son whether, like, have you guys studied about Goliath or anything? And he goes, no, the only place I know Goliath is from Six Flags Ride. That's when I'm like, oh, maybe that's where even I have heard. Maybe I didn't study about Goliath at all. So next day I went to Dean and I told him, I'm like, no, it's not in studies. I know Goliath from the right uh, in Six Flags. And he goes, but do you know why we na they have named that ride as Goliath? I said, uh-uh, nope. So I didn't even know about like why it was named Goliath. <laughs> That is so wonderful. That is one of my favorite stories. When he told me that, I'm like, oh my goodness. That, that totally makes sense why that would be your only connection is to this huge ride, right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so now tell me from your perspective as not knowing anything about scripture and God's word, what what did you think about the book? And tell me, how, just, yeah, just right from the beginning, tell me what you thought about the book. So... Frankly speaking, I loved it. Uh, I loved how it has got each and every part of entertainment in the book. So the beginning, the first and the last chapters are my most favorite ones, for sure. Because as soon as I read the first chapter, I couldn't put it down. I'm like, oh, I, I need to read this book. I definitely need to read this book. So and, and, and it, it continued, thankfully, you know, I never felt like, oh, that's it. I can't take it anymore. There was never a moment like that. So it's got emotion. It's got, uh, you know, the entertainment. It's got uh, lots of war. So, yeah, it's got um, kind of like every every aspect of entertainment that you would look for in a book. I agree. I agree. There was a couple, well, I shouldn't say a couple, it was actually quite a few days. I had to rearrange my schedule because I just couldn't put the book down. So once I started reading, I'm just like, oh my gosh, I'm going to have to just reschedule this appointment later because I have to finish to see what happens. Yeah. So, and I agree with you. It just, it really encompasses everything. Um, and if you're looking to be entertained and you want to go on a journey, it definitely takes you on a journey. You fall in love with the characters. There was just so many characters in there that I really liked. I love how they come to life and it just really takes you on a journey. So tell me, what were some of your favorite things as you were reading it? So my favorite things were, I'm, I'm, 
I don't like too much violence. So uh, all the war parts, I would read it faster. But still, the way it's written, the way it it's narrated to you, it's it's so much like gripping that even though I don't like to read violent novels or anything like that, I I was still reading it, which was kind of amazing to me. I'm like, I'm not somebody who would pick this up and read it, but it's just the way it's written and communicated, and it it just connects you. That's what I'll say. The book really connects to you. It does. It does. And for me personally, it really just shows in those war scenes. Um, and they, they, it is very graphic. Um, but it does bring the reality of uh, back in their day when they went to war, the, just the physical um, weariness that would bring on somebody's body to continue to fight time and time again. Um, it was overwhelming to think that because obviously the way we do war today is completely different with our technology and absolutely the advances that we have. Obviously, they didn't have that back then, right? Uh -huh. So when you're reading this, you're just thinking, "Oh my gosh, I think I would die just from being in the battle for that length of time," right? Yes, <laughs> it's, it's, it's way tougher than my boot camp class. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I'll tell you one more thing about uh, when I was talking to one of my friends. Who knows me very well and she and i told her i'm reading this book which talks about you know some of the characters from bible and all that stuff and she was asking me she's like how are you reading that like you are not somebody who would read that though i only told her one sentence like if you read that book you feel like i almost felt like i'm watching one of the bollywood movies which is very popular and a hit movie called bahubali i told her it's like I'm reading Bahubali book, literally. And then she goes like, oh, I can see you reading that now. That's all I had to say. Oh, wow, is that yeah. amazing? Mm -hmm. So I, I have no um, reference to that movie that you're referring to. Okay, so now the war scenes were very difficult for you to, wa or to read through um, just because of the violence and all of that. Tell me what were some of the things that you really enjoyed reading about i enjoyed the you know how the romantic aspect of the character comes every now and there in the book i i actually like that one and and also all the strategies that they are discussing during the time of war and how to go about and win few things or deal with few things um positive negative both but it's it's a strategy, right? Whether it's positive or negative, it's it's a strategy that they talk about. So it was very kind of like smart thinking. It was, yeah. yeah. And it, it was fun to learn it from that perspective as well. But yeah, like you, I really enjoyed the um, the romance between Mikkel and David and how that from the beginning and then how it grew together and yep. taking you on that journey. So it just, I, it really touches on everything as far as like, a good book and a good movie where it just involves everybody you know be your enemies and then the love affairs and all of that it's just it's all included in it for everybody. absolutely yeah. Yeah. yeah I heard that after you finished reading the first book you wanted to immediately read the second book which is exactly where my heart was I'm just like oh my gosh you better start getting on the second I book because I don't want to wait too long <laughs> I know, I'm telling you, the first and last chapter, that's why it's it's my favorite one, because the way he is ending the book, you feel like, what, why, why are you ending it? I, I, there's, there's a connection, I can see it, I want to continue. <laughs> I know, I know, so we're going to have to get on him about that, right? I know. We can't wait, we can't wait 12 more years for, for a round. Oh, no, 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 absolutely not. <laughs> so now that you've read the first book and you love it, what would you say to somebody else? Because I know like when I read something, I want to share it and I get it out there and I tell people, oh my gosh, you got to read this book I just read. What would you say to someone now that you've read this book? I would highly recommend it like to everybody, you know, at least read it once, you know, like you'll never know. I'm sure you'll find something in the book that will connect to you because there, it's got everything in there. So even though you don't like certain kinds of books, but it's got everything in there. It's not just about David. It's about the story. It's about the life. So just 
don't go with just the word of like it's it's about David and Goliath or anything like that. Just read it as entertainment. I would highly recommend it. Awesome. So you feel that anybody who would read this book would just walk away feeling fulfilled and that it was yeah. worth their time reading it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Why did you pick up this? You you've read Bible. You know these characters. You've known the story. Like you've known everything. Why did you still want to read this book? I that is such a good question because this is where my passion is. I love scripture. Like if the, if there is one thing if somebody ever asked me what do you like to do in your time? It would be reading God's word. I mm. love it. I can't get enough. But saying that there there's some areas in the Bible where you want more detail like in the Old Testament it it tells you stories but it doesn't tell you all the pieces of the story so when when you read a book like this it fills in those gaps so even though it is scripturally um true and fact Dean was anointed and brought in the filler part where you would imagine, okay, now I get it. Now I can see how this would happen. Um one of my favorite stories in the Bible is when Jonathan and his armor bearer went up on the rock, the mountain, um to fight those Philistines and there was what 20 of them. So there yep. was 20 against 2. And when you read it in in the Bible, you're just like, "Oh my goodness, how could 2 take down 20?" right? Yeah. Um, especially because of the energy and the effort it took for them to even get there, then to climb the mountain to get up there. Um I'm thinking, "Okay, I'm already going to be physically tired just doing that," right? Then they got up there and they went into a battle of 20 against 2. And you often wonder, "How in the world did that really play out?" right? Mm -hmm. Then you pick up a book like this and it really could fill that in for you as you're reading it and you're um you're kind of watching it in your head play out cuz you're reading it and it's just it was so exciting. So I that's what I truly loved about this book is that it just brings scripture to life for you. City, thank you so much for joining us today and talking about this book and I promise you I will get on Dean about getting part 2 done faster within hopefully a year instead of 12. How does that sound? That's perfect and I believe you that you will get on him and I I trust you on that. <laughs> <laughs>